So it's a port. Ray... I ain't gonna break our promise or anything. I was just thinking. Might be a ship bound for where Chloe touched down, you know? I see. We should make for the pier. If any fairies have successfully made the crossing, they shall be there. How about you, Nina? You cool with going to the port? Of course. I needed to go there anyway, so no complaints here. Want to play around? You've got... To... Now you can play a solo. I'm looking for... The main... Initiate emergency Usefulness low. Threat to the head. Destroy. See that? I'm coming to you, Yeah. 
Kill. You deserve. Enemies. Then let's be careful.
It appears that passenger liners are docked on the opposite side. Right. You know, I pictured a port town being more lively. Anyone home? Ah! 
the battle of wits begin. Triumph. <laughs> it seems I am the victor. Well, I'm the best whenever I play with my friends at least. Let's play a song. Place always this dead? Shouldn't be. To my knowledge, it's always bustling. Maybe this warrants an investigation? Why are the fairies trying to avail him? You are if I were, <sighs> just forget Guess the law. Speaking of which. Actually mind if I had. Oh, you cannot be serious! There aren't any ships running? 
What's the holdup? When are they gonna set sail again? I honestly couldn't tell you. Regular service has been temporarily suspended due to the appearance of the Imperial warships. What? Temporarily suspended? Isn't there anything you can do? I can't do much if the ships don't set sail. Ooh, I got the best idea. You need to sneak into the Imperial capital. Huh? What? You gotta bust in there and knock some sense into somebody. The Emperor, whoever. Then the Emperor will stop sending out its warships and you guys can resume service, right? <laughs> That's a good one. Do I look like I'm joking? Because I'm not. At all. <laughs> Please, I told you! Regular service is suspended! Ugh, he was useless anyway. Ugh, but what am I supposed to do if their stupid ships are too chicken to set sail? You're gonna have to think of something, old Welch. A most eccentric young woman, for lack of a better word. Yeah, you can say that again. Hey, looks like she might have dropped something. Oh, a ring. I believe this symbol represents the Vineyards, a well-known merchant family in Delric. Who would it not? Perhaps we might keep an eye out next we are in Delric. My, though, what a rambunctious girl. Target sighted. The building on the other side of the plaza is the hospital. Good afternoon! Is Dr. Vanell here? If it isn't little Nina. I heard those monsters were quite the handful. Wait, you did? How? When goods aren't coming in, your ears tend to perk up at news that might affect your bottom line. So then your stock is low, huh? I've got enough for the time being. Hold on a moment. I'll get you the usual. I don't want to be rude, but if all we're doing is picking up some drugs, Remind me why you wanted us to tag along? Sorry, that's not the real reason. There's something I want Leticia to see. Sorry for the wait. Why the long face, Nina? If it's not too much trouble, can we see the patient? Uh, his illness is quite advanced. Just don't get too close. I'll make sure not to. If it's all right, I'd like to show you all something. Is he afflicted with...? Yes. Helgar's disease. It's claimed the lives of 20 people already, and shows no signs of slowing down. That many? Leticia, if you don't mind, could I come with you to the capital? I need to visit the Semiomancy Consortium. What exactly is that? The main institution where semiomantic research is conducted. It has the best facilities in the kingdom. That goal I was talking about, it's to cure Helgars. And to do that, I'll need to learn a lot more about Iatromancy. Please, I just want to rid the world of the disease that killed my father. The rub is, would Maester Marcus approve of that? If he doesn't, we'll never learn enough about it, and more people will die. I can't let this disease spread any further than it already has. Dr. Ethan and I can only do so much by ourselves. 
I understand your concern, but that's not why we're here. We're here to convince the doctor to disclose Maester Felgreed's whereabouts. I personally have no issue with escorting you to the Consortium. However, were that to irreparably sour your relationship with Dr. Eason, it would defeat the whole purpose of this endeavor. I don't know. Call it a gut feeling, but I seriously doubt Marcus is that stubborn of a person. Do you? Anywho, let's head to Delric. Taking detours isn't gonna earn us any favors with him. Fair enough. It's not as if we gain anything by staying in Rythel. Albert! Pardon the indiscretion, but no need to worry. I can stand by my... Yikes, he's burning up. This is bad. Dr. Vanell, we need you to look at someone right away. Please! Illness and travel are inseparable bedfellows. I doubt it's anything serious. That is a great relief. There is something I'd like to ask, however. What manner of creation is that arm? Uh, um... Before I continue, please speak to no one of what you will hear. Hmm... He has lived with that arm for 14 years now. I can only assume he has lived with that pain equally long, abiding it with stoic countenance so as... so as not to worry me. No need for such decorum. Someone of your station does not need to lower herself to mine. <sighs> as for Albert, I'm afraid I'm not the Iatromancer Marcus is. I recommend his second opinion. Tell him those are my exact words, and I'm certain he'll oblige. He will? Marcus isn't so set in his ways that he'd ignore Nina. Nor Filberto's wishes. Dr. Vanell. You've had enough excitement today. Go rest. I'll tell Albert when he comes to. Very well. Thank you, Doctor. How is he? Well enough to be discharged tomorrow morning. A little fatigued is all, apparently. <sighs> Good to hear. The doctor also suggested we have Maester Eason look at him once we return to Delric. The inn is near the fountain at the top of the hill, if I recall correctly. Here, let's go pick up Albert. The clinic was just down the hill on the left, yeah? Thank you all for looking after me. And sorry to have been such a burden. Especially to you, Nina. You absolutely sure you're okay? I am. You shan't see me on my knees again. Bluster if you want. You will not weasel out of your trip to Dr. Eason's. Of course. Perish the thought. Okay then. Let's get on getting back to Delric. Don't worry.
I'm sorry. To be of assistance. It's only gonna get you gotta aim. We hand over the drugs to Dr. Ezen, then we butt heads with him. Right then. We have that vineyard family ring we found in Rifle. The family is from Delric here. So. The infirmary was on the west side of the village, on top of the hill. Let us make haste. How exquisite! Nina! Here you go, Doctor. The, uh, medicine you asked for and stuff. Don't here you go me, Missy. And what in the name of all that's holy are you doing here? Maester, do not be angry at Nina. She has only brought me here to see you as a patient. Uh, did I hear you right? Dr. Vanell examined me in rifle. However, he suggested that I get a second opinion from you. These are for you. The referral and my medical records. I'll see what I can do. A prosthetic, huh? This lasted 14 years? Anyone else but Midas, and it would have fallen apart ages ago. But even he couldn't keep it from deteriorating. He created this prosthesis using semiomancy. It was designed to grow with its wearer, as would true flesh. Wait, so not only does it move like a normal arm, it grows like one too? How is that not the invention of the century? If only everyone were as elated as you upon its unveiling, things would have been quite different. Maester Eason. You may put your armor back on. I've seen all that I need to. I appreciate Vanell's referral, but I know little about this arm. Midas, on the other hand. All right, I'll tell you. Midas currently resides in the village of Ada. He's your only hope of fixing Albert's prosthesis. <sighs> Thank you so much. A word of caution, he is a peculiar one. It was he the Council directed their ire toward years ago. Persuading him will be no simple task. Nor will it dissuade us. Thank you again. I know you did not have to tell us. Any hiatromancer in my position would have. Wait, so, so um, does that mean we're leaving right now? Indeed. Time is of the essence, and Maester Felgreed is integral to our mission. We cannot afford to waste a moment. Oh, uh, I guess that makes sense. Then, um, uh, how do I say this? Nina. Fret not, for I would be honored if you joined us. The more allies I have in this endeavor, the better. You heard the princess. Now see if the doc's cool with it. Okay, I will. So I guess, um, Leticia, I'll be with you in just a sec. <sighs> Doc 
treason. Can I ask you something? Of course. What is it? We should give them some privacy. That we should. So, where is this, Ada? To the north of the Larkus region, at the summit of a perilously steep... Oh, is that not the Vineyard family's emblem there on that sign? I must say, it does seem to be the right place. The scum seem pretty... Maybe if they stayed away from... Anyone home? No way, no way, no way! This is not happening! Where could it be? No! Um, pardon me, but I believe you may have dropped this ring. What? You? Why are you in my... Th that's my ring! Huh? I must have dropped it back in Rifle! <laughs> what a miracle you found it! Thanks! Allow myself to introduce myself. <laughs> I'm the head of a wealthy merchant family. We've been living in Delric for generations. I'm the brilliant, beautiful Welch Vineyard! I believe the Vineyards are a merchant family, who are even well-known across Osirius. Is this truly where you reside, Welch? Uh, talk about a low blow. Uh, anyway, let's gloss over the minor details. Meanwhile, you picked up my ring, came to find me and deliver it? <laughs> That's pretty pathetic. <laughs> I mean, uh, what a sweetheart you are. And since you're so nice, I have a favor to ask. There's this thing that I super totally really need, and I've got a hunch that you're just the right person to get it for me. Easy peasy bunny squeezy, right? <laughs> Don't worry, the quest comes with a reward. It, yes. Magnificent! Okay, I gave you my orders, now make like a tree and get the... Uh, I mean, please complete my request as soon as you can. <laughs> Just how long is that joker gonna make me wait? Did they have mud in their ears? I said, as soon as they can. Please excuse the long delay. Uh, where did you come from? Uh, 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 no, no, uh, no. Uh, 
What do you mean, delay? That was surprisingly fast. Yes! That's exactly what I needed! Oh! <laughs> now, by mixing this with that... <laughs> now I've got my hands full. Hold your horses, Buster. Did I say you could leave? It would stain the vineyard name if I let you leave without getting your reward. Did you forget what I said? I will now give you a special lesson in the compounding secrets of the vineyard family. Oh, right. I'd better give this to you, too. As long as you got this baby, you can stay in contact with me from even the most far-off locations. And since you're quite the subservient, uh, I mean, uh, due to your natural aptitude, I'm appointing you as my personal scavenger. I'll use this to give you a little ring when I need you again, and when I do, you get your butt here right away. Capiche? Yes, that is fine. Splendid! And if you bring me the things I request, I'll teach you the item creation secrets of the Vineyard family. A reward like that ought to get your tush in gear. Alrighty, let's make it happen. I'll take this over running deliveries any day. Anyone home? Welcome. Much appreciated. Thanks. Nina's probably done with her talk by now. Shall we return to the infirmary then? How'd it go? Good. He didn't even argue. I just told him I wanted to join the consortium, and he said fine. On one condition, that I don't embarrass the princess. How did you know that he would give his consent? I just know that's how parents are. They don't want their kids to experience the same hardships they did. But at the same time, part of them wants their kids to follow in their footsteps. It's in their blood. And I should know better than most. I followed in my father's. Hmm. Obviously, the Maesters were pretty pissed at the royal family. Which probably accounts for at least one reason why your old man never mentioned anything about his past. Anyway, he still left you that mountain of research regardless. Just in case you ever decided to become an iatromancer like him. Plus, Dr. Eason made you his apprentice. What I'm trying to say is... Both of them are more than happy to support you in your decision. You think? <laughs> I guess they would have. Well, if it took us a trip to Rythel to convince the Doc, who knows what it'll take to convince Midas. So let's get going. Yeah. I'm off, Dad. See you around.
Continuing on our current northbound course should lead us into the region of Adali. So you're saying we're almost there? Nay, I'm afraid this is the only beginning. We must conserve our strength, as the terrain shall only become more arduous. Mm, mountains. Ugh. Been a while since I climbed anything. Here's open it's not too steep. Sweet! <laughs> Continuing north from here shall see us arriving in the Adali region. The northwest side is where those ruins were. I've never been to this side, though. This area is near where we first met Ray. Somehow it feels somewhat nostalgic already. Oh, so it was around here. You weren't kidding when you said perilous. One wrong step could indeed spell your doom. Nothing to stop you from plummeting to the bottom, so keep your wits about you. If we misstep, we shall look to you, Duma. 